what is good everyone what is good welcome back to the channel with yours truly of course you know it it is machiavelli hope y'all having a great day today on this amazing sad saturday because you know if it's saturday that means tomorrow sunday that means monday's around the corner which means school is back which means i'm gonna die because i have an exam next week but anyways <laughs> enough with that um, i hope everyone's having a great day today um so i am back with another build and this build was requested as one of the builds you guys chose and this was requested by oh my god i'm so unprepared but um what was requested was for me to do a japanese style apartment not apartment but japanese style house and I, it was either apartment or house um but a house that i chose and i really want to go with a traditional style of house with like the big gates at the front i don't know i thought it'd be really cool to add some of that into there so i did that can can, can you like work computer i need to give this person a shout out um so i did that uh i really love what this house turned out uh i i just i love japanese style things maybe because i'm such a weeb <laughs> a weebo that <laughs> what's it called again a weebo maybe, maybe because i'm weebo trash that's why i love like i love anything that has to do with japan japan's like my home freaking love it there i've been there before i need to go back i miss it so much um <laughs> but anything that has to do with japan in general i love so when um i got when i won when um this idea was selected i got so excited for it you understand i got super excited to do it and i was so happy that you all recommended me to do it which one did i do it under i think it was under this one if i'm not if i'm correct i think i did it under this one here it is yeah um this build was requested by um pre 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 sam pre sam pre sam Prisema. Oh my god, I'm, I'm butchering your name. I'm stuck with um with pre pronunciations of stuff. I'm, I suck at it, but hopefully I'm saying your name decent at least. But she requested me to do a Japanese style house, and I was so thankful that you guys did this and you guys chose it because I love Japanese style houses like ever before. And so I really wanted to make a sort of like a temple style house where all the rooms are connected but on the outside but not the inside where you have to walk around to get to each room i thought it'd be really fun and this video is just, is just gonna be me creating the outside because i really wanted the outside to look good so i really put a lot of effort into the outside so i knew for the funny fact that even though this house is not gonna be the biggest house i knew for a fact that the outside alone was going to take me about an hour to do because i wanted to do it well and also with this build is I really focus a lot on the outside because with Japanese all houses, like I said before, all the rooms are connected on the outside, not the inside. So um, the outside is very, like the outside of these houses are like very, like the gardens and the ponds and the fishes, like they are so nice. So I really wanted to um, adapt that into my game, um, the nice like scenery outside. So I really focused on that. Like, so that's why it took me so long to do this. And that's why there's no inside. The inside I'll probably do tomorrow. That is my goal to get that done tomorrow. And the outside is not the best. Like the, the painting, like the color scheme and the wallpaper I use is not the best, but that's all I had to use. So I had to do with what I got. Um, I was calling now I'm just ma uh, creating the wrap around um what's called it the wrap around porch 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 <laughs> Which will connect all the rooms together sort of as you can say uh, Right, and I did delete that ball. But anyways, yeah, I really like the way it came out I have really not that much to talk about about this build because I didn't really do anything on the inside uh, It's just pretty much the outside, but I think I did a pretty good job for someone who's not known for their building skills I think I did a pretty good job But of course you guys are my true kid critics and you guys will give me your honest opinion on what y'all think And this is actually a non CC um, Outside so I will upload it today and you guys can go ahead and download Load it since there's no excuse me since there's no cc i just yawned in your guys's ears <laughs> since there's no cc anyone can use it um i did not do it anything at all to the inside so y'all can go ahead and work with it and see what you guys come up with it the inside will i'll accept it like i said before i'll try to get it done tomorrow but no hopes like i'm not gonna be like i promise because i'm being I, guys i i i'm, I'm struggling <laughs> so, like this week of school like i thought this semester would be one of the easiest semesters that i've ever had to work with that's a lie it's one of the hardest because even though i'm not getting a lot of work like i normally get the work that i'm getting is extremely hard like i have an assignment that's due tomorrow that i'm about 70 percent there um 
but I don't know if I can be able to finish it on time and then that teacher is super strict like I got I my, my normal grade was a 90% and then I went to a 50% because I didn't um my what's it called again? my my not my citations um my um because what happened was in each of your in each of your statements that you do in the, my coding I have to put my initials in it I forgot to put my initials in each of my statements so I went from a 90 to uh 50% just because I forgot my initials yeah guys my teacher is strict so um I had to go back and do that project all over again it's been it's been such a tough week and then I have a, an exam for that same course um, the same course on Thursday and to study the teacher said all I have to do is do assignments is do um the in-class assignment over and over again until I can do it without even looking and I don't even understand the inside of like I'm gonna die guys it's not to, to sum up everything I'm going to die simple as that um so wish me luck <laughs> uh, put, put, put like a, a Malik is resting here now because I'm going to die soon um but anyways now i think i'm just working on the outside but fun stuff guys um fun stuff yeah fun stuff guys i don't really have much to talk to you guys about today i don't know i just i just i don't really have a lot <laughs> i can talk to you guys about my japan trip a little bit more in depth i did do a little vlog on it guys it wasn't that good um i thought i recorded more but i didn't that's all the footage i could find which is pretty much me going there like i guess what happened was i was gonna make a vlog of me going to japan and me in japan but what happened was i made a vlog of me going to japan but then when i got to japan i was so taken back by japan that i forgot to record it but next time i go well, hopefully next year when i go i will definitely be doing a proper vlog for you guys and be showing you guys around japan as always i like as like a real thing <laughs> like really show you guys around um like it is so amazing i recommend anyone to go there it is an awesome place it really is uh the funny thing is i don't know where, where were ch i don't know where churros were made but the best churros i've ever had those is the one thing i really remember was the churros the best churros churros i've ever had was from japan um there's just one little churro spot that i would go to every single day like they knew me they're like oh you're back i'm like yes i am back because they had the best churros they were so good and they're really cheap they're like a dollar something for it too and the one thing i do miss the most <laughs> Funny fact, fun fact, but the one thing I miss, one of the things that I do miss most is that um, churro shop, that churro shop, um, arcades, which I'm going to talk about in a second because the arcades were amazing, and um, this, uh, the convenience stores, I love the convenience stores and the vending machines. Oh, I miss those so much because the convenience stores actually sell really good food, like, they sell better quality food than McDonald's, and it's, and, <laughs> well, McDonald's is terrible, but they sell, like, really good food for a convenience store and it's it is practically pretty healthy too so i love the convenience store down there the 7-eleven is amazing i miss it so much whenever i'm like whenever i go to a convenience store over here in canada i'm like why can't this be like japan <laughs> like rip and over here i got stuck with the doors I, we don't have any like style like japanese style doors that i could use so and i tried to make this straight cc free so i had to figure out a way but anyways guys i'm really mad at myself right now let's just talk about this for one second so if anyone here knows how to do how to merge your cc healthy and properly let me know because i tried to merge my cc last night and it just got all messed up and i ended up deleting some stuff and now i don't have all the cc that i had it's like, stupid k okay, i broke my I broke my game last night i stayed up until four trying to fix my game i ended up breaking it even more so if you know any way on how to um merge cc let me know that'd be muchly appreciated i really need the help but anyways back to japan story <laughs> so um yeah the commuters are awesome but anyways arcades in japan if you ever go to japan go to an arcade i was an idiot right i decided to go to an arcade about a week two weeks into my trip i'm not two weeks a few days into my trip they're very stupid of me because arcades are one of the best places you go like for me i didn't like i played a good amount because why not you're an arcade right i played a really good amount but most of the time i was just watching because i was just so fascinated by how these people play it like like it's like professional the arcades the arcades there are so professional they have multiple floors um some of them are smoking floors some of them are not 
Um, thank God I went to one with no smoking. I can't take it. I, I, I'm, I'm, um, I have asthma, so smoking does not do well for my lungs. Um, but anyways, so I went to arcade, right? And it, it's really legit. Like arcades are taken very seriously. Like it's really cool because they have these passes, right? These cards, and then you collect points on them, and then you have your like, it's like an online battling thing, I think, like that, where you have like this card hooks you up to the machine then you have your character and like they have this like realistic dance dance revolution game that i love and funny thing is that after i left japan i realized that i really want to play it so that's that's like sad so i learned one of the songs on the on the i learned one of the songs on the what's it called again the game itself uh what's it called again if y'all know the song it's called luca luca night of fever night luca luca night of fever luca luca night fever something like that it's a really good song it's like really popular in japan i learned the dance how's it go again i forgot how it goes luca I forgot I haven't done that I haven't nested so long. Oh my god. Okay, got it now. Hey, I remembered it awesome yeah but anyways <laughs> that was really gonna bug me if I didn't remember it because I spent days trying to learn that dance because when I went back I knew for a fact I'm going to try out that dance dance revolution machine and I'm gonna kill it because they're like they went ham like funny thing is that everyone was like cosplaying one day and then they came in and this one guy just got everyone so hyped and then well one person's in the well, well one person like there's a huge line for the Dance Touch Revolution machine, like, well, one person's uh, actually, like, doing the Dance Touch Revolution thing, everyone's, like, behind him, cheering him on and dancing with him, and, like, that one guy's just, like, it's, like, so cool, it's, like, it's, like, a sensor, it senses your whole body, and then you have to copy the moves, and then, like, they're, like, it's just, I can't explain it how cool it is, and so he was doing it, and then everyone got hyped, I, was, I, I started clapping, like, he got to, I think, like, like, he was, oh, I don't even know, I can't even describe it, guys, how cool it was. <laughs> I just know that when I go back, I definitely have to go try the machine. I, I learned that dance just so I could try the machine, because I needed to. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I recommend if you go to Japan, go to the arcades. They're so much fun. <laughs> You're going to have a great time if you go. You honestly are. Um, I went... I went, like I said, on, like, on my fourth, third day there, and then after that, I went every other day. Ikebara, not Ikebara, um, Akabara, um, Ik, 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 I forgot what it called, I don't know what the city called, but I, I, oh, I went there about three times, <laughs> um, in that week and a half I was there, I went there three times, because, um, the ha it's my favorite city. I thought that Akabara would be my favorite city or Shibuya. No, Ik like this other places because it has the J World there, which is like a big, a huge, like J World, like this huge thing for anime where you can go there and like, it's like it's it's where you can go there and then, um, it's like they show all the Shonen Jumps animes and I love all Shonen Jump animes. They had like, um, Naruto. They had One Piece. Bless. They had Bleach. Yeah, they had Bleach. Um. What else they had? They had, uh, what's the volleyball anime called? Ha 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 haiku? 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 They had Haiku there. I love Haiku so much. You only gonna start with me. Haiku is like, blessed. I still have to watch season three. I'm gonna binge it when I'm done school because I'm so excited. <laughs> I love that. I love that volleyball anime so much. Haiku is the best thing that ever happened to my life. One of the best things. Um, so they have Haiku there. They have all these other stuff. It's really cool. I have a few pictures, I think. From J World, but no, I don't have any. Damn, I didn't take no photos. Um, such an idiot because I was just so there taking like I was just anyways. I'm an idiot, but um, yeah, they had J World there. They had the Pokemon Center there. Um, that's where I got my nine. Where you at nine? There you are nine. Why are you on the floor? No, that's not nine. Where's nine at? Yes, guys, I named my my stuffed animal Pokemon Nine Tail Fox. Like it's it's the Nine Tails. I named it nine. Um, I think it's right there. Nine, where are you at? Okay, there's nine. Ugh. Sorry guys for my squeaky chair. Featuring squeaky chair in the back. So this is nine. I got it for the Pokemon Center. Oof, I love him. Love him so much. He cost like an arm and a leg, but he was way worth it. Um, I was gonna get this huge, huge Charmander, but it cost me like a, a hundred and something bucks. I got no money for that. Plus I had no way to bring it home anyway. So I stuck with nine. It was on sale. I got it for like 20 bucks. But yeah, I love nine. Love you nine.
Center, the Pokemon Center was there. Um, J World was there. My favorite um, Churro Shop was there. A huge like my favorite arcade was there. Like that was my favorite city. And for fact, I know for fact when I go there, I'm definitely gonna be living in that city, either that place or Akabara, because Akabara was chill. But it's just that I have bad memories there because I I lost sixty bucks in Akabara. Akibara. I, I'm, 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 I know I'm butchering these names, but it's okay. I lost like 60 bucks there. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure I told you guys about that story. Oh my god, I can't believe I lost 60 bucks. Like, guys, I cried. I called my mom. I was like, Mom, I lost 60 bucks. She's like, You gotta be effing kidding me. I'm like, No, I lost 60 bucks, man. How'd you lose it? Like, because I was an idiot. The thing was, I was playing for an ace figurine. But the thing was, the ace figurine, if I just bought it, it cost me 30 bucks. I was like, No, I could win it. And then, and oh, so stupid. I'm such an idiot. If I would have just done it i would have just got i would have had the ace figurine and i would have saved 30 bucks but it's okay i'm an idiot but i learned from my mistakes and i never went back there yet so me and akabara has like some me and akabara have some like as negative 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 feelings there <laughs> i just like don't spend all your money on those machines but i do have a lot of gotcha ball gotcha balls <laughs> um these gotchi machines gotcha 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 machines i don't know what they're called but i got like a lot of stuff like i got a lot of anime figurines like i have my vegeta one right here the chain broke off so it fell off my keychain but i have a vegeta one right here that i want i wanted the goku one but vegeta's still sick so i'm glad i got that i had my if you feel like my keychain the one i have at home because i have half on my keychain here half on one at home i have a bunch of stuff that i got from japan there but anyways guys i'm gonna end off this build here because it's coming to an end i hope y'all enjoyed thank y'all so much for watching this build i hope y'all all liked it i will continue more of my japanese story if you guys want me to in my second part so leave a comment down below on that uh, if you guys want to go download this house of course this will be on the gallery under hashtag machiavelli builds and mac builds which will be in the description down below of course like always so don't worry about that guys and also want to give us like a quick thank you for reaching um 21 000 subs guys thank you so much i really appreciate all your love and support and all the comments guys it's been amazing and i like i can't thank you guys enough i've been thank you guys since day one and i can't thank you guys anymore so thank you all for everything i love you all so much and i appreciate every single one of y'all for making me smile and having me Later, guys, you guys have saved my college life because if not, I don't know what I'd be at right now. But, anyways, guys, I'm gonna end it off here. Thank you all so much for watching. Of course, leave a comment down below as always. And by the way, guys, don't leave requests down, don't don't leave requests downstairs in the description. Don't leave requests there, please. That's all I ask. Don't do it because I won't do them. Go to my request video. Go to my request video for requests. Anyways, that's it. Deuces. I gotta go. <laughs> Peace.